let's talk about another type of uh, local search algorithm which is called local beam search algorithm okay what is that local beam search algorithm so that local beam search algorithm is uh, so like in hill climbing algorithm we'll choose one node and we'll go into that particular direction and we'll leave other nodes so that the the limitation of the memory will be uh, will be fulfilled means the limitation of the memory was there that's why we are using hill climbing algorithm now here in local beam search uh, instead of going to on, instead of exploring only one state uh, from the successor node we'll explore k number of states and k could be anything could be uh, two could be three could be four if k will become one so it means a hill climbing if k is more than one it is a local beam search okay so if you'll see here and this k value is is depend upon your memory size whatever memory you have let's say you have this graph okay you all, all of you pay attention here let's say this is the graph and in this graph there is some heuristic values these are all heuristic values heuristic values means from that particular node if i want to go to the goal node let's say the goal node is l so how much cost i have to spend so it is 9 for from c it will be 7.3 from d it will be 8.5 from b it will be 11 in, in that way it is given okay so this is your state space that is given now in this particular state space i reach i i need to go to the goal state now let's apply hill climbing algorithm in that particular uh, example okay let's start with the hill climbing algorithm what hill climbing says hill climbing says that uh, you find out your successor node and whoever is giving you the least value you have to go into that direction okay so let's say i have started with this Whoever will give you the least value because we have to go to the least uh, path, right? So 9 and 11. So 9 will give you the least. So I'll go into that direction. And I leave B. Now A will be explored. Now if I'll explore A, I would have C and D as a children node. So which one I have to go? I have to go towards C because it is giving you some least cost. From C, if I'll explore C, which one I have? I have G and H. And in that, I'll go to H. The same way, let's say from H, I have K and L, which is the less, I'll go to L. Now, after that, I'm reaching L. Once I'm reaching L, you know that whatever node is in the explored list will be first taken as, as the match, whether it is a goal node or, goal node or not. If we find out that L is a goal node, we'll stop our search. So this is my goal node that I have found, right? This is a hill climbing approach, okay? Uh, let's talk about the local beam search. What will happen in local beam search? And let's, let's talk about, to talking about local beam search, let's talk about the, um, the problem with the, uh, with the hill climbing algorithm let's assume that this particular value this particular value is what this particular value is 8 rather than 11 this particular value is 8 so what we do let's assume that this is 8 this is not 11 you assume that this is 8 now if this is 8 what will happen from s a and b are the two nodes so where will go we'll go in that direction right from B, which is less less than 8, so definitely 7.1 and 9.1, so 7.1 is less than that. So I'll go in that direction. From here, which is less, definitely 7 is less. I'll, uh, sorry, uh, uh, see, 5.3 is less, so I'll go into that direction. From here, which is less, so definitely N is the, now from here, I cannot go further so i'll what i'll assume in hill climbing i'll assume that this is my what this is my goal node 
and actually this is not the goal node this is the local maxima right this is not the goal node which is having the heuristic value 2 which is less than that but it is not the goal node that is the problem related to hill climbing in the previous in in that particular example where this value is 11 it is giving me the right value but always it cannot give me the right value right if this this uh, situation will come now let's talk about local beam what happened in local beam search now what happened in local beam search we have two lists that we know right I, i'm just going to fulfill that particular list and i'll tell you that what happened into local beam search it begin with k generated state so always we we begin with the k generated state k number of state all the time okay now if we'll start with the initial state s so s will come into the explored list so what i'm doing is uh, i'll just so i think it's visible to all so what i'll do is i'll put s into the explored list so now s in the explored list right now after doing that what will be in the frontier list if s is in the explored list so i have, I have explored s and a and b will be in the frontier list now here we can assume that the k is nothing but 2 so the k value we are taking 2 it means that at a particular time my in my frontier list maximum two nodes will be the uh, will be there in my frontier list two node will be there in my frontier list now here frontier list what value will come here in the frontier list a and b are in the frontier list right now i got a and b in the frontier list now after that what we do is we apply like the depth first search how we do in the depth first search sorry uh, we'll apply that breadth first search what will happen in the breadth first search in a breadth wise we have to explore so let's say if i have explore one breadth now we'll explore a and b at the same time okay so we'll explore a and b at the same time because it says that always k value k generated state will be there and at each step all successor of all k state are generated all successor of all k state should be generated at each time or at each step so when we'll go to the next step definitely we have to explore the child of a as well as b at the same time so what will happen who which will come in the explored list s s is already there a now a is coming into the explored list and after that b will come into the explored list now which will coming into the frontier list only two only two are coming into the frontier list why only two will come into the frontier list because k is two now how will choose two will choose depend upon the heuristic value so which node has the least heuristic value so you see here c and e has the least heuristic value so here c and e will come c and e will come in the frontier list what is in the explored list s a and b are in the explored list now do we have to touch d and e no we don't have to touch d and e means it is again reducing the cost of the memory by reducing the number of node that can be the current node okay or that can be the probability to get the goal node so here d and f we are not going to explore will not put anything here in the list so this list is nothing but your memory at a particular time so now what is in the frontier list c and e so always you have to explore whatever is in the frontier list at the same time or at simultaneously you have to do that so in the explored list s was there a was there and b was there now we have to add two more what is that c and e now when i put c and e in the explored list if i'll explore c it will generate g and h and e will generate i and j so from c which is the least one h so h will come here in the frontier 
and from the e which is the least one j is the least one so j will come here getting it now after that we have to again explore how will explore so we'll put in the explored list a was a is there b was there already c is there and e is there already now we have to put h and j at the same time so h and j we are putting in the explored list so when we explore h and j what we have we have k l m and n so from the k l n which is the less least least is l so we'll pick l and from the j which is the least so it is n so we'll put n as the uh, next frontier node so you see that in the frontier list always we have two node in the frontier node which is the best node best node in terms of least cost now after that we have to explore again this s and l so now s a b c e h and j was already there now we are putting l and we are putting n so once we are putting l here in the explored list so you all know that whenever we put some node into the explored list we have to check whether it is a goal node or not so once we put l in the list we find out that l is a goal node and we'll stop our search here this is how your beam search for it is just based on the uh, based on the example of a beam so beam has a certain width right so at the same way this uh, frontier list is also has a width here we have considered width as 2. We can consider width as 3, 4, 5. It depends upon the problem and it depends upon what um, list, what uh, width has been assigned by the examiner. So based on that, you can choose the frontier list. Okay. So this is all about local beam search algorithm.